So I think they're actually getting close to casting Batwoman. There's two choices for the characters so far that seem to be in the lead for being cast as Ryan <laughs> Ryan Wilder. There's two things I want to go over. So I want to go over this, and then we have some information on what that character is going to be like. And she's actually a lot more interesting, at least her backstory is, compared to Kate Kane. So the main thing that's interesting about Wilder is they're actually directly tying her to a Batman villain, unlike Kate Kane, who was obsessed with her sister, Alice, that nobody really cared about, no one really liked her. It would seem that Ryan Wilder is obsessed with Scarecrow, which would make Jonathan Crane the villain of the season or the show or however long they're going to do it. I don't know. That's a lot more interesting. So I actually think that their plans for the character are maybe better. I don't know. We'll get into that. But first I want to go over this. So two choices right now, Vanessa Morgan and another woman, Gemma Hendricks. So we have two people that are in the front running as of right now. And this is someone that they're really looking at right here. Uh, It's interesting, given the history of what's happened with this show. If you remember, when they cast Ruby Rose, uh, she wasn't into the ladies enough. uh, Because Ruby Rose, of course, swings both ways. So because of that, she wasn't good enough to play Kate Kane. Like, that's some kind of qualifier to be an actress. I mean, isn't that the point you act? You're doing something you're not normally... Like this, I thought the point of acting, but I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, You have to also truly be into that yourself to play the character. It's this weird thing that's going on. And I said, the casting of this character is going to be interesting because will it be good enough? Now, I looked into Vanessa Morgan. Vanessa Morgan, from what I've seen, has a husband. That's not going to fly. Okay. But uh, I believe she is a POC. Uh, She made a big statement, and I agree with some of it uh, for her Riverdale show. She was talking about how, you know, these shows, and you can put this in a lot of entertainment, uh, they're using POC characters a lot of the times as background characters. They don't do anything with them. Or they're always in some kind of sidekick role or something like that. This is true. And that's why I've said, like, these people always talk about how they are these big, you know, we're the we're the super progressive and all this stuff. And they never really commit to it. Like they're afraid of it. And she called it out. And of course they jumped and said, oh, we're committed to giving uh, Vanessa a future. And now they're eyeing her for Batwoman. Apparently she's going to do a screen test. Now you could say <laughs> she did this to get it work. I don't know. Uh, either way, it might land her the role as Batwoman. However, Here's the problem with Vanessa. Vanessa, if it's true and she's not into the ladies, uh, that's going to cause a woke Twitter superstorm. Big time. Because remember, with Ruby Rose, it wasn't good enough. And if that's the case, I wonder, will this be good enough for them? I don't think that it will be. I don't think it will be. And you'll see a big... You'll see a big woke fit about it over on Twitter, which, of course, people listen to Twitter because Twitter seems to be where all the money is. That's where the companies think. That's what they think anyway. It'll be interesting because you still have an out superhero woman in the lead, but uh, the actress isn't out. So, And that appears to be a problem. I don't don't understand it. Uh, The other woman who her name is Gemma Hendricks. She is, she is out and only swings one way. And that's towards the ladies. And that would be what they would want for the character. So it'll be interesting, which, cause you'll have a battle of the wokes in some way, because you'll have a POC lead superhero female character, or you'll have, the same thing, except the actress is actually uh, the same as the character. Isn't it a ridiculous argument just to even talk about that? It, re- it should really be who plays the character the best that gets the role, in my opinion. 
it should be who get who get who plays the character the best. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to the battle of the woke because there will be conflict if it's between these two, these two actresses. But uh, there could be more. As of right now, from what I found, there's only been the one screen test that they deleted. I guess there was a clip of it and it leaked. I'm not sure. I don't think Vanessa has actually done a screen test yet. She's going to do one. So as of right now, these are the front runners for the character. So next up, I want to go over this audition tape because this offers some insight on what's going on here. So I actually think some of this sounds a lot better than the entire season of Batwoman. And I want to explain why as we go through this. So a screen test for Ruby Rose's replacement on the CW Batwoman has shed some light on the show's new character, and she has ties to the Bat family's past. After the casting call appeared on Reddit for a new character named Ryan Wilder, Batwoman showrunner Caroline Dries confirmed the character would be taking the place of Rose's Kate Kane. A now-deleted audition tape featured actor Gemma Hendricks auditioning for the role. That's, of course, the other actress that I was talking about in the first part of this video. That's the other person who's now had a screen test. Uh, I don't know how thrilled they are with her. The fact that they're talking to that other actress, I don't, I'm not sure. But here's what this is what the scene has. In the, in the video, Hendrix's character appeared to get caught red-handed with Batwoman's costume thanks to an embedded GPS tracker. The character is approached by two off-camera members of the Bat team and then identified herself as Ryan Wilder. Wilder knows Kate Kane was Batman, stating that she saw everything that went down and put two and two together, presumably regarding Kate's or Kane's last moments as the crime fighter. Kane's exact fate isn't revealed. So a couple of things this tells me. They're going to do a time jump. That's the big one. So... That would allow that would allow them to make it a mystery, or you know maybe Kane uh, got taken out. I don't know. They're, they have they don't really say here, but uh, the big thing here is that of course she put two and two together. And I wonder, wouldn't it be funny if it was that terrible episode that I always make fun of, where the Batwoman character, the vigilante, not Kate Kane. Demanded <laughs> demanded a interview so that she could explain that she likes the ladies. Not Kate Kane, Batwoman. Kate Kane in costume as Batwoman did a did an interview with a gossip tabloid to explain that Batwoman likes the ladies. It's the stupidest, dumbest thing that I've ever seen happen in entertainment history. Wouldn't it be funny if they nodded how dumb that was and she put two and two together from watching, from reading that interview and then seeing that Kate Kane is like new and has all of this money and she also likes the ladies and she's a part of Wayne Tech and all of this stuff. Like, oh, okay, well, you're acknowledging your bad writing. <laughs> I don't know if that'll happen, but if you are watching this channel and attached to this show in any way possible, why don't you acknowledge how terrible and stupid that plot was and have that as the reason that she figured out who she is. I think that that would at least be an acknowledgement that that was a really stupid idea. So here's the rest of it. Kate was our friend, the off-camera voice said, possibly playing the role of Luke Fox. And we're not about to let someone undo all the good she's done for this city by rewriting her legacy. I'm not rewriting it, Wilder said. I'm finishing it. Wilder then went on to reveal that Jonathan Crane, a.k.a. the Scarecrow, killed the mother, killed her mother, and she wants to adopt the role of Batwoman in order to confront and kill him. Wilder threatened to fight the Bat team for the suit if she if they don't let her keep it long enough to finish off Crane. The team apparently relents as Wilder is seen in a mock-up of the suit, undergoing training as the new Batwoman. Her character is woefully awkward in the role, though, and clearly has to uh, figure out how to be a superhero. So this really should be a season one, <laughs> but it is fitting of a total reboot. And the thing that I like, and the thing that I think is interesting is that they directly tie her to Scarecrow, which is a lot better than Alice. 
the show, if you remember, the last two episodes of the entire season for Batwoman had Hush as kind of the main villain. And with Hush as the main villain, the show's ratings went back up. When you brought in more bat elements, the show's ratings went up. I mean, imagine that. Can you imagine it? (laughs) That people wanted to see Batman stuff. And this also tells me they're going to eliminate that stupid Alice character that nobody really cared about and bring in more Batman stuff. Tying her to Jonathan Crane is actually a much better idea. It's a Batman villain, and it sounds more interesting. It's not original, but this does follow a lot of the tropes that, you know, the series has had. The biggest one I'm thinking of is Robin, Dick Grayson, going after uh, Zuko and Two-Face in some instances. Like, it's been done before, but if it's not broken, why fix it? So I actually think that this is not a bad idea. So we'll see what happens here. But I still think Kate Kane isn't a very interesting character. Or not Kate Kane, a uh, Ryan Wilder from the from the presentation that they've given us of the character, how she's, you know, dangerous and all of this stuff. Sounds kind of dumb. We'll see what happens, but this is much better. This is a much more interesting idea because remember the original idea for season two was going to be was going to be a a love plot between her and her pirate ex girlfriend, the pirate queen. That's scrapped now, obviously. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I do know I'm much more interested in a show that revolves around uh, Scarecrow than some pirate lady that used to date Kate Kane. That sounds a lot more interesting. And I think they'll get rid of that stupid Alice character. You can have Hush in the Wayne Tech building as Bruce Wayne for a while, whatever he's been doing. And then you've got uh, Scarecrow maybe working with Hush. I got to admit, that sounds kind of interesting. A lot more interesting than the entire season we've gotten so far. So what will happen? I don't know. But... Maybe it won't be so bad. I don't know. Given that it's the same writers, who knows? (laughs) Some things sound good on paper and they'll never execute very well. We'll see what happens. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Also, if you would, throw a like up, share the video. Make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.